Shout out to metamats.com who sent me all of these creepy mats. Perfect for Spooktober, right? But even though it's October and even though it's the spooky month, this is Cyber Dragons. This is a Cyber Dragon video. I know you guys have been waiting on. I've been waiting to make it. I've been waiting to open all of these structure decks. I got these immediately when they came out, but I haven't had time to do things, do Yu-Gi-Oh things. So I've just left these unopened so I can open them on camera. Didn't get to open them in time. I don't know, I just, I guess I could have opened them and got a, vi a quick video out, but that wouldn't have been cool. That would have been just me opening this, and you can watch anybody open this. I mean, you can read what's on the, you can look up what's in, in this, you know what I'm saying? This is going to be a long, epic Cyber Dragon video that you all deserve, that you all have been waiting on. We're going to start by opening this. I'm going to actually fix the camera, you know, get these other mats out of the shot, and then, uh... Yeah, we're gonna um, open these and then uh, there'll probably be some other stuff and then uh, there'll be a deck profile or two or something. Either way, long Cyber Dragon video. Let's go. Okay, those mats are out of the shot now. As epic as those mats are, they're just kind of uh, in the way of the Cyber Dragon mat, right? Oh, I'm just gonna tear this open. I don't really care to open it pretty. Take a look at this mat. I bet it's kick ass. I bet it's the new, yep, Cyber Dark End Dragon. <laughs> this one's another one for my starter deck, structure deck mat collection. I actually do have a collection of those. I'm missing quite a bit from uh, my absence still. I might open all three of these right here on camera, but I probably just need to open one. I might open the other ones while talking if I feel like it, but yeah, I only need to open one of these packs because they, they all come with the same thing. I mean, of course, if there's a manufacturer error and one of these comes with something random, I will uh, definitely put that in the video, but it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, the new Cyber Dark Chimera. I was like, oh, is that a damaged card? No, that's just something in the back. Uh, actually, whoa, is that an ultra rare? That, ooh, are these actually good looking ultra rares? Man, these structure deck ultras look way better than what's been coming out of the booster boxes lately. Let me tell you, <laughs> those look great. Wow. Man, they've been washed out and stuff. No, these are, these are awesome. These look awesome. All right, so Cyber Dark Chimera, Cyber Dark Realm, Cyber End Dragon, Cyber Dark End Dragon. There he is. I guess we can see if I get the uh, misprint uh, Cyber Dark End Dragon. I have seen that around. Cybernetic Horizon, Cyber Dragon Hurts. Nice, nice reprint there. Fusion Deployment. And then there's the there's the reprint that we all wanted uh, that I made sure that we got. Uh, not to toot my own horn or anything. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't like me because I uh, harass them about certain things that the community wants. Wants. I don't really have a preference. I just do what the community wants, right? And uh, we wanted that imperm reprint and we got it boys and girls look at this uh, I mean it just makes sense infinity's right there on the artwork Why wouldn't it be reprinted in the structure deck? That was such a little not even a controversy It was just like a why wouldn't it be reprinted? I mean we didn't get lightning storm as well like the OCG did in the structure deck, but we got Imperm, very cool stuff. Attachment Cyburn, which I still like. I, I think it's cool to be able to, that it can equip from hand immediately. I don't know, which is to have different stats and stuff or do something better, I don't know, but it's cool. I still like this card, the idea of this card. Um, it's because it's a better version of, uh, what was the what was the um, Armored Cyburn? Yeah, Armored Cyburn that came in the uh, uh, Cyber yeah, Cybernetic Revolution structure deck. It's a, basically a better uh, equip style card than that is what this is. More Cyber Dragons to sign to send off to people. <laughs> Cyber Dragons Y, Dry, Veer, Fear, I know, and Master, Cyber Dragon Core, Pharos, the original Power Bond Searcher I got us uh, a long time ago. I've been clamoring for Power Bond Searcher. This one's way better, and I was wrong. This card's actually really good. I said in the video that this was gonna suck, and that was my initial reaction, but then all these other cards got, uh, you know, shown to us later and this card is kick-ass uh, being able to use a power bond with this with this guy's effect of being able to um, you know banish cards from your graveyard very very good I like that a lot um, but Pharos though uh, that was let's I, I still I still am proud of this card because I like just said I, I, I really did claim power bond as a cyber dragon card and the ancient gear players got mad at me and this and that the other I'm like no it's a Cyber Dragon card. It can be played in, in Ancient Gear, sure, sure, but it's a Cyber Dragon card. Zane Truesdale played that card. It's a Cyber Dragon card. Sorry. <laughs> but anyways. 
Cyber Valley, Cyber Phoenix, Cyber Dark Horn, Cyber Dark Edge, Cyber Dark Keel, Cyber Dark Cannon, Cyber Dark Claw, just all of it right there. Everything you need, all the searches, everything you need right there. Ling Ling, Jizakiru, fantastic reprints. I mean, uh, like Sky Strikers, I guess, are getting their own kaiju, but like ugh, Cyber Dragons with the first deck to get their own kaiju. Let's be real, okay? Cyber Dragons with the first deck to go well, on, I guess. I guess you can say dinosaurs. No, but the dinosaurs, this. No, uh, it was Cyber Dragons because uh, Cyber Pear Plant came out a hell of a long time before uh, Over Raptor and stuff. You know, you can argue the dinosaurs have their own kaiju because, you know, they could search. Um, Leaders with Over Raptor, uh, but yeah, no, Cyber Dragons were the first to get their own. Cyber Dragons are a preferred deck, they're awesome. <laughs> Gizmek Orochi, the Serpentine, Serpentron Sky Slasher, say that 10 times fast. Gale Dogra, another card that I really, really like. Um, it's been replaced by uh, what, Diviner of the Herald in more recent years, as far as being, you know, sending, um, you know, uh, Arc Light to your extra, uh, from your extra deck to the graveyard. But this is still a really cool card. Um, that's a that's a plus. I mean, paid a lot of light points for it, but it's still a really good card. One of my favorites of all time, actually, um, to play in the past and stuff like that. Cyber Eternal, Cyber Repair Plant, Emergency, Cyber Load Fusion, Cyber Dark Impact, everything you need. Cyber Dark Inferno, Future Fusion Reprint, Fusion Tag, Machine Dupe, Limiter Removal, Cyber Dark Invasion, the new trap, Cybernetic Revolution, Power Wall. Call of the Haunted, Paleozoic Can Canadi Canadia, yeah, Canadi Canadia. That's just a new name for the country that they renamed the country and put it on a card. Oh, no. I'm making crap up. Overflow, good reprints. All these just fantastic reprints. Chimera Tech Over Dragon, Cyber Darkness Dragon, Cyber Dark Dragon. Gotta have them. Power Bond, Overload Fusion. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll guess I'll open these right now, really quick, on camera. I don't even need, need to talk, I just want to see if I get the uh, misprints in any of these, you know? That'd be kind of cool. These are upside down, though. And some of these back here are upside... That's upside down, too. And those are in a different order. So, no... That's not necessarily a factory error on that one, but it is kind of weird. Yeah, no misprints so far, though, that I can see. No, no, that one's not the misprint, either. Okay, oh, well, I didn't get the misprint. And this one's uh, not upside down like that last one and all the cards are in the correct order. Yeah, that second box was kind of weird, but yeah, no misprint. Everything's pretty normal here. That imperm reprint. Do I still have that ulti power bond? I'm pretty sure I have an ulti power bond somewhere. Craptus Bundus or whatever it's called. I think that's what we're gonna play. Cyber Last Fusion. This is German. There's my original playset. set. Ah, there it is. Craptus Bundus. Oh, it's not ulti, it's an ultra. Oh well, that's still really cool. Yeah, if I end up playing uh, just one power bond, which I think is correct, I think it's gonna be that one. It's gotta be the German. It just makes sense. Shout outs to my fans for sending me the Cyber Dragon Revolution structure deck mat all those years ago. This mat is badass, but we have to be doing this profile. I should say these profiles, you know, parentheses, on my meta mats, the Cyber Dragon meta mats, the best meta mats in meta mats makes the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course, they always have since uh, they came out, since, uh, yeah, so, yeah, since they came out. They, they're the original creators of the color cloth play mats. That's why it says so in the description of all my videos. Dave makes me badass stuff, including this mat right here that I had design choices on. I wanted it to be Klee Forts versus Cyber Dragons, but that's another story. That's another story for today. I mean, I guess that is a Cyber Dragon story, you know what I mean? Getting my own, you know, custom meta mat, and, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, speaking of custom cards, these are custom Cyber Dragons that a fan made me. Man, this just, uh, I just, I love my fans, and I, I love you guys for supporting me and supporting um, Yu-Gi-Oh! throughout all these years and supporting uh, Cyber Dragons and help me, uh, you know, play Cyber Dragons and help me keep Cyber Dragons relevant. Shoutouts to you guys. I mean, I, I take a lot of credit for the Power Bond Searchers for, you know, Cybernetic Horizon cards and support, and I take credit for a lot of things. The Larvae Moth support, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I mean, and it's hard for me not to because, I mean, yeah, you know, but <laughs> but it wouldn't be possible without all of you guys, you know, playing along with the jokes, you know, and uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! with me and uh, just having a good time being kids together, you know. 
And uh, thank you for being patient, by the way. Yeah, the uh, structure that came out, uh, yeah, the uh, new uh, the Cyber Strike structure that came out two weeks ago, and I'm just now coming out with this profile whenever it's shown to you guys. I know I haven't been doing Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. That's why I stated in the, the last Cyber Dragon video I made that even if I'm making only one video a month, it's still the second coming. There's a reason why I mentioned that in that video. But moving on, and that's enough talking. That's enough talking. We need to show off this deck. I'm, I'm just I actually have two decks to show to you guys. I have the Cyber Dark, the uh, Cyber Dark deck. Where's the extra deck? Ooh. I I can't, I can't spoil my spice for you. I about spoiled my spice for you early. I'm going to be doing this one first. This one's the uh, Cyber Dark deck profile. I'm not going to be showing the whole thing. Some of it's going to be on the computer because I'm missing two cards. Uh, two cards that I'm waiting for. I'm, I'm still waiting for in the mail. But it's been long enough. I want to say one more thing before I show you guys what you want to see. Starting with the Cyber Dark, you know, Cyber Dragon deck profile. Um, I went for I went to touch the ceiling with these decks. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how else to put that. I wanted to see how high I could get the ceiling for these decks, however you want to say it. Um, I went for combos. I went for combo liciousness with these decks, okay? And to spoil it, I do make the boss monster, Cyber Dark and Dragon, Eternity Dragon, and two negates with this deck. Oh yeah, I can show you how to do it. And I will show you guys some combos with these decks, including the max potential for these decks and why I built them this way, the way I built these decks is for max potential, the highest ceiling possible. So take, take these notes, take what these decks do, Memorize it, adjust the decks however you want to. Add add imperms, you know what I mean? Now that we have imperm, and I made sure to get us where, where's that imperm at? Hold on, I made sure to get us imperm. I have several videos about getting us impermanence, okay? Like you can add impermanence into these decks, and that would be fine. Just find room for it because right now, as these decks stand, I went for combo deliciousness. I went for go. I went for go. So take that for what you will. Um, adjust these decks however you want to use these decks as a guideline and use my combos as I guess a lesson in what these decks can do Without any further ado. <laughs> I hate saying that I said it on purpose actually just then because it's like a meme now for like You know youtubers and whatnot without further ado without any further ado. Let's you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah All right, let's start three cyber dragon custom made fan made custom made cyber dragon swag Three Cyber Dragon Core, the core of the deck, the heart and soul of the deck, the same pun I make every single time I do one of these deck profiles. Three Cyber Dragon Hurts, which is the search card for this guy or this guy from your graveyard or whatever. And then uh, two Galaxy Soldiers and two Jizakiru. Yeah, let's put those over here, I guess. I only play two Jizakiru and I play one more Repair Plant in this deck because you want more spells to discard off a of Chimera and you want less monsters. So, and I, and I still do like Sighting Slumber and I like Sighting Mothra um, for the Wind Statue and stuff. I, I still like that and I still wanted to do that. So I bumped Jizz down to two and you know, like I had it at one, one at one point, but then I was like, I'm gonna have to change the side. And I want to play Slumber and I want to play Mothra, so I, I added this, the second one in. And it turned out great. So yeah, you want to be able to out Winda and stuff. You want to jizz on Winda. <laughs> Get her out of the way so you can make your combos and stuff. And you can search this guy with repair plants. Shoutouts to uh, Cyber Dragons having um, uh, dedicated an archetype specific kaiju before any other deck. We did. Cyber Dragons did. <laughs> we were the first ones, and the dinosaurs were the second, if I remember correctly. I mean, before Sky now Sky Strikers are getting their own kaiju, but that's not a kaiju or whatever. But we we all know Cyber Dragons were the first. <laughs> Anyways, though, um, two of the Chimera Power Bond Searcher. Woo! Be way better than the first Power Bond Searcher. You know, the Pharos. This one's way better. And I, I I'm, I'm eating my words. I said that this card was gonna suck, and that was before we got all the other cards revealed, and you know, before we had uh, everything shown to us. And uh, I was wrong. This card is badass. So is this one a Cyber Dark Cannon to be able to search it in Cyber Dark Claw. And that is it guys. Those are the only monsters I play. You don't need to play any of the other Cyber Darks and uh, I see people playing even smaller ratios than this. Only playing like two Claw and a, and a Chimera and stuff and that's perfectly fine. I'm going for the boss monster in this build. Like I said I'm going for ceiling. I'm going <laughs> reaching for the sky. <laughs> you know I'm seeing um, you know what this deck can do. I'm making this deck do um, everything I feel like making it do. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the monsters. That's uh, 19 monsters. Um, it was 18. Like I said, I had just a cure at one, and then I realized, like, wait a minute. Um, I, st I don't want to touch the side deck. <laughs> so I don't want, and I want to play Mothra, and I want to play Slumber and stuff. So, yeah, it's just, it's just easy side decking stuff for the Cyber Dragons. Three Cyber Emergency. Three 
machine duplication, three overload fusion. So this search is basically the whole deck except for the cyber darks, uh, although this will get you this, which will search your cyber dark realm, which will get you in your cyber darks. And this deck just searches and searches and searches and searches. Uh, you gotta watch out for that draw and lock bird. People don't really main it. Uh, you just gotta watch out for it in the side. Um, I will say that, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just actually, since I just said that, I'm going to note right here, um, called by the grave. I would play it at three if it was at three, and it should be at three. It really should be. Okay, okay, it should be at three. Um, it, but since it's at one, um, I just went for comboliciousness. Your chances of drawing it are really slim, anyways. So, like I said, I went for comboliciousness. But since it is only at one, I decided to go without it for this deck profile and go without it for all my testing and stuff. Um, but keeping in mind uh, and trying to make room for it, you know, keeping in mind to make room for it, especially if it ever comes back to three, that would be very tight. Now, moving on. Cyber Dark Realm, and I know there's the new Nobleman, by the way, I know there's a new Nobleman, and if you can fit Ashes and, and the new Nobleman in here, uh, alright, um, and if you uh, feel like spending that much money, then yeah, go for it, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, go for it, by all means, by all means. This is the Combolicious Make All the Boss Monsters and some Negates version of the deck, so, once again, Cyber Dark Realm, um, I play two Cybernetic Horizon, uh, the reason why is because this is the Combolicious, you know, version of the deck, and if they stop this, that sucks. You want Cyber End in the graveyard so that you can make your Cyber Dark End Dragon, you know, using its summoning condition. And if this gets stopped, uh, yeah, like I already said, that sucks. So having a second one, I think it's necessary, especially if you're not playing any anti-hand trap stuff, blah, blah, blah. Gotta have, you know, uh, the extra stuff. Now, um, like I explained earlier, I'm gonna play uh, two repair play to be able to get to a Jizakiru faster. You know, uh, get it get it to it just as consistently as playing three of it. Also, playing two repair plants gets me to uh, Galaxy Soldier more consistently, and the whole rest of the deck. Two Cyber Load Fusion. This makes a Cyber Inter Eternity Dragon, which is just insane. It it just doesn't die, and it has a grave effect that protects your fusions and just all all kinds of stuff. There's there's all kinds of combos to be had. Power Bond. You only need one of because you can search it now with a good search card. Oh yeah. And you guys are gonna be like, where's Nashter? I don't play Nashter in this one. I play Nashter in the other one, the Cyber Dragon build. I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. But I couldn't find room for it in here. Like, and it, the deck doesn't really need it. I mean, it's kind of nice to have sometimes, but the card also just sucks, okay? I don't like it. I don't like Nashter. I've been vocal about that in the past. It, wake me up, and I've said this in the past too. Wake me up when it makes itself a level five. Wake me up when it makes itself a level five, okay? Uh, because if it's gonna lock me out to machines by summoning from the graveyard, it better make itself level five. Otherwise, I just used it use it for discard fodder, fodder and an extra a monster on the field, and a machine duplication target. And that's really all I use it for. I use it for an extra cyber dragon name in the graveyard. I use it to make a quick chimera attack sometimes in the other deck and stuff. But it's just wake me up when it's a, when it becomes level five. You know. <laughs> now the spice, the last two cards in the deck. I love this, and I thought of it, and I haven't seen anybody else do this yet. The Sky Striker package. You guys would be like, what? What in the world? Why? Why? Because all you do is you make Kigari, right? And then just get this back to your hand. Don't activate it again. You go plus one with the spell in your hand, and you discard this useless spell off of Chimera. And you have a machine link monster on the on the board to link off into uh, you know, genius or Yeah, do you see what I'm saying? Like Seeger, like Seeger, right? You got cause Seeger is like a cyber dragon. Yeah, Cyber Dragon plus a machine. Two, yeah. So you can make you can link this off into a Seeger, you can link this off into Anger Knuckle, or you can link this off into a Genius. And actually, the max ceiling combo for this deck that I'm going to show you guys right now opens up with either one of these cards. You either open up with the Engage or open up with the Drones, make Higari, and then link it off into Genius later. And then you use uh, Genius's effect when you uh, machine dupe under it to search uh, Galaxy Soldier, use Galaxy Soldier to make Vimana. Like, you make, uh, <laughs> that's another thing. Like, they come out with this new rank five. They know they know what they're doing, guys. I swear they know what they're doing. Um, so Cybernetic Horizon locks you into machines. So they come out with a new rank five Chronomaly monster that gives you a negate. It gives machines an extra negate, and it's a light machine at that, which is pretty cool. So the best ending board with this deck, the maximum ending board with this deck, ends up with a genius and infinity, the Vimana, Eternity Dragon, and Cyber Dark End Dragon all on board. So two negates and both of your mo boss monsters that just can't can't die or won't die. One of them has 5,000 attack and the other one has 4,000 defense. 
It is just insane. Like the, the Cyber Dragon boss monsters are awesome and they look great. I mean, this one's kind of uh, busy. It's got a lot going on, but when you get used to it, you're like, okay, that's pretty badass. That's like Cyber Darks and, you know, Cyber End Dragon all together. That's okay, okay, that's pretty tight. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what Zane Truesdale would have wanted, you know? It's exactly what he would have wanted, and that's what's uh, really cool. <laughs> it's like, we, we finally have, like, a good meshing of these two decks, and you can also play these two decks separately, you know? That's what's really great, and I talked about that before the structure deck came out. I said before the structure deck came out that it was going to be kind of a split structure structure deck where cyber dragons you know are getting reprints and you can still play just regular cyber dragons and there's cards in there you know supporting here for regular cyber dragons and of course reprints for regular cyber dragons but it's also um a lot of support for cyber darks and there's obviously i'm going to show you this deck profile right now there's there's ways to combine them together and you know and make a better deck i mean uh i saw it in my discord server somebody called <laughs> sold called cyber darks a leech on cyber dragons and that's not that's not true i think these two uh, strategies mesh very well together um i will say though that it's uh your your options get limited with horizon though um this limiting you to machines it does hurt. It does hurt um, as far as like being creative with the deck. You know, um, you guys have seen my Cyber Dragon profiles and my deck profiles throughout the years. I just try to do something different than what everybody else is doing, and I try to win playing what I want to play. And um, playing what I want to play gets hard when I'm limited to machines. You know, uh, an example I already listed is that you can't make Plates in this deck. Plates is not a machine. So they uh, replace, you can't make play these, limits you to machines. So you have the new Chronomaly Vimana card that I've already been talking about as the replacement for play these. And uh, there's an option to go into with Galaxy Soldier. So yeah, um, this, uh, I like this spice. I really like this Sky Striker spice. I've been waiting to show you guys this since I thought of it. Like, I'm, I, th I think this is it because I mean, you just get a Machine Link monster in a, in a plus and, a, and the perfect, like just dead card to discard off a of Chimera. It's just, oh, it's so great. I freaking love this. Yeah, I mean, it's sure, it sucks to draw both of them. Just don't draw both of them, and your chances of drawing both of them are very, very, very small. So, yeah, just don't draw both of them. That's 40, guys. That's 40. Once again, um, I, I went for highest ceiling in this deck. I went for comboliciousness in this deck. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys the full deck profile on my computer. Um, you'll be seeing that here in just a second, probably in and out on top of this uh, extra deck profile right now. So Kagari, Genius, Seeger, and then the card that's missing for the Lynx is the Anger Knuckle. Like the angry train double, what is with that train's name? And he's like, what is with the name of that card? But yeah, just uh, that's what's missing. And then also the Chronomaly Vimana card that I've been talking about, that I'm waiting for as well. So for now, for the real life profile, Nova and Infinity, over dragon i swear i had a foil over dragon somewhere i don't know where it went i've been looking for it and i had like a secret rare one this this art you know what i mean but it was secret rares the lcgx yeah i think it was lcgx secret rare i don't know where it went uh fortress dragon i do have uh, foil fortress dragons i have the shine and jump ones but those are both in the other cyber dragon deck that you guys are about to see um mega fleet dragon rampage dragon Cyber End Dragon. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for an excuse to play this bad boy. I just, I don't know where his freaking cousin went. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I, uh, I have the uh, LCGX, a uh, secret rare of this too, somewhere, somewhere. Cyber Eternity Dragon, Cyber Darkness Dragon. Should have came in foil, even though it's it, like, it only has one purpose, which is to bring out Cyber End Dragon. <laughs> like, what is my purpose? <laughs> you make Cyber End Dragon, oh my God. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So yeah, missing the the angry the angry knuckle, the anger knuckle, whatever that ridiculous card name is, and the new chronomaly Vimana, and uh, yeah, that's it for the deck. I mean, you guys can be like, well, what's the side deck like? <laughs> you guys want to see my side deck? I mean, you probably already noticed on the on the computer shots, but I'm just gonna pull the side deck from my other deck. <laughs> It's the side deck's the same. So this is gonna be a, a pretty interesting deck profile because I've never used the side deck like as an intermediary in a double deck profile video and had both decks have basically the same side deck. I've never had that happen in, in my Yu-Gi-Oh career ever. But um, yeah, I guess to explain it, um, the, the side decks are exactly the same except for this right here um, being a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon in the deck that I'm about to show you and the Cyber Dark deck, it is just another copy of Overflow. The reason why I don't main Overflow, um, I main overflow in the, my cyber dragon deck now 
um, inside a second one for extra back row hate destruction stuff because I couldn't think of anything else aside and this is searchable and it just makes sense and inciting this instead of like you know trying to force like there's just no room in the extra deck it just makes sense this way um, but to explain it it's just a uh, back row destruction, back row hate, um, hate for you know decks like Mystic Mine, uh, hate for like anything that plays back row. Like I, I don't know if you have somebody that's playing Paleo or True Draco or uh, anything, any just any deck. I don't know, just anything that plays a lot of back row. These cards will take care of all that stuff. Heavy Storm Duster also combos with um, Overflow because you can uh, you know blow it up and get a search if you have to you know target something. You know it's, if you only have one target on your opponent's side of the field, this does help. It just it just works well together. Has synergy together um speaking of synergy artifact lancia has synergy in cyber dragons because level five light i've said that time and time and time and time and time again in my uh, cyber dragon deck profiles um then i play three of the uh mothra because the uh, wind statue is running around people are playing that and this is the best kaiju against that because it's a wind uh, that says that you can only special summon wind well here you go here's my wind have it <laughs> and it's just great um and then uh, three kaiju slumber just to blow up the board for when you know you're going second and stuff uh this is also a fun one to play against mind players and stuff. <laughs> it's fun to like, you know, screw with the monster count and stuff. Um, Slumber's just an interesting card against a lot of decks. And um, if you're if you're main decking kaijus, like in the case of Cyber Dragons, you know, main decking, um, you know, uh, Jizukiru and stuff. Um, I like to main deck more than one Jizukiru because I like making a Fortress Dragon. But yeah, if you're playing only one Jizukiru, I wouldn't recommend uh, playing a Slumber in the side. I wouldn't recommend siding like this. I mean, I would recommend this, sure, you know, just for the win statue, yeah. But I wouldn't recommend this too, uh, just because you have the chance of uh, drawing that Jizukiru and then this is dead and this has to have summon uh, two uh, kaijus with different names you know so uh, that's why I added and I already explained that that's why I added the second Jizukiru into the cyber dark deck just to yeah just to um, and make sure I could still side slumber because I like to side slumber it's budget um, it gets rid of a lot of things it screws with a lot of people and it has synergy with your kaijus that you're already playing it just makes sense to me so yeah that's 15 for the side deck and uh, let's do the main deck. I changed this main deck a lot. I got rid of the trap trick stuff that I was playing. I, I still think it's cute and fun, but uh, it's just that. It's just cute and fun. It's just something I did, you know, just to have an extra level two plus back row hate, and that's really all that it was, you know? So, three Cyber Dragon. These are my Cyber Dragons. These are my babies, the LCGX. I know people will be like, you don't have the ulties. I don't want the ulties. I want my just classic, you know, Cyber Dragons I've been playing for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. I just want my Cyber Dragons. Three Cyber Dragon core, heart and soul of the deck, the core, <laughs> core of the deck, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't keep, I couldn't like keep a straight face. You guys are like, ah, oh, every time. Cyber Dragon hurts and Nashter. I play Nashter in this just because it's an extra Cyber Dragon name and I, <laughs> I hate this card. I hate this card so much. I want this card to be better so bad. I mean, it's it's just ah, it's it, I mean, it's cool and it's cool that Chimera is twenty one hundred in the Cyber Dark deck so that this can get it. Okay, yeah, sure, that's that's cool, that's cool. But this is just I, I use this just for longevity in this deck and for an extra machine dude target and for just a extra Cyber Dragon name. I actually play an extra. Um, a repair plant in this deck now. I actually play two repair plant in this deck now, uh, just uh, so I can uh, shuffle back Nova to be able to make Nova again. Um, as well as um, I, that's another reason why I up the repair plant to two is because I have this extra name in here and I play uh, quick draw synchron and like you know uh, galaxy soldier and stuff. So if I get this into the graveyard, I can like <laughs> a repair plant for a core and actually get my plays going. <laughs> that's how useless this card is. It's just it's just that of like all the other cyber dragon names like uh, besides these he's the best and that's why you play him like like beer is okay you know beer beer you know this is okay um and th that's the next best one but it, it's just okay you know like uh, uh. next up i play three jizukiru i like to main three in this deck i like to play a lot of monsters in this deck i like to make sure that i see jizukiru against winda against any problem i like to see jizukiru when i'm going second this is still a going second deck i should have noted that with the cyber dark deck as well both of these are still going second decks they're cyber dragons cyber dragons are inherent going second decks they're really good at that just drop Cyber Dragon from your hand. That says it all right there, you know, in the Chimera text. That I shouldn't have to say any more than that, you know? But Jizukiru also, like Jizukiru, 
get, get rid of anything, um, make Chimera Tech with it because it's a machine. It's, it's just a great little combo. That being said about Cyber Dragons being an inherent going second deck, I made these decks to be able to go first though. And that's what I'm getting at with the combo liciousness. I just did test hand after test hand after test hand, tested for consistency, and I just wanted to get that high ceiling, just like shit out monsters, play, like just break this board, play. Um, as often as possible. That's 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 what I was going going for. Therefore, making a better go first deck than something that players were doing a long time ago, um, and, and I messed around with this too, playing like artifacts and cyber dragons just to be able to make them go first or second because it's like, oh, I scythe you going first, or oh, I chimera tech you going second. I don't like that strat. I want a combo. I don't want to just set set and pass and stuff. I mean, like I, I like those decks too, but. Now when it comes to Cyber Dragons, Cyber Dragons is it's, Cyber Dragons an interactive deck, you know, and the just the, you know the archetype specific kaiju says it all, you know, <laughs> like you be able to summon something on their side of the board, you know, and then uh, get it right back into your graveyard making Chimera Tech. It's just it's fun times, it's fun times. Um, two Galaxy Soldier, and then uh, yeah, that's it for the uh, Cyber Dragon monsters, the ones I consider to be Cyber Dragon monsters. No Cyber Darks in this deck profile. Still, I'm still going with the Karakuri crazy combo liciousness with this deck uh, my custom shenanigans yeah that's what i'm still going with so uh three machine duplication there's all your machine duplication targets and then there's the ones you want in deck right there three cyber emergency um to be able to search your search card the, the best card in the deck um two repair plant for the reasons i've already stated to be able to put nova back into the extra deck um be able to put um cyber dragon i haven't stated this uh, reason yet in this video but i stated this in several different videos um uh, most of the time i find myself putting um using repair plant um besides the search effect i you know for galaxy soldier i will use repair plant to put cyber dragon in my graveyard back into the deck to make machine dupe live i've done that Quite more times than you'd expect for some reason. Uh, it's like I'll draw a machine dupe, like you know, later in the door to draw like a second copy later, and I've already activated it. I've already got all my, my all, you know, I already searched off a of hertz. All my cyber dragons are out of deck. The second repair plant, I mean, or if you just have a repair plant and you haven't used it yet, I mean, it's a pretty good play. I mean, what are you gonna do? Like, not shuffle it back and have a dead machine dupe? No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. So that's just something I found myself doing. Um, and plus, the second repair plant makes sure that you get just a cure more often to be able to out anything. Um, and once again, like I've already stated, I you <laughs> uh, up, upping repair plant to two also makes it to where if I draw this, and let's just say I draw this, this, and this, in like I don't know um, what two other cards. I don't care what. Um, I can like just dump this <laughs> of a galaxy soldier search another galaxy soldier repair plant for Nova and then just go And I'm not gonna eat my own words here And I will stand by what I've said in previous deck profiles. You only need one repair plant You truly only do need one repair plant. I want right now at this phase in my Yu-Gi-Oh career I want more than one, <laughs> you know, but you only need one you really do so yeah, just keep that in mind for um, You know uh, for taking this deck, you know for in using it for notes or whatever just uh if you're trying to make room, you can only you, you only need one. You only need one. Um, speaking of which, you only need one overflow as well because it's searchable. Um, and you have search cards for your search card to get this. Um, this I, I'm happy to main again. Um, use, I mean, I, once again, I like this package. It's a cute package. Being able to get a plus off the terraforming to get some back row hates and then use your back row hates to search your level a level two that combos that works with your combo just as well as your main you know level two monster that you use for your combo. I don't know. It was, see, it was pretty good to me, you know. <laughs> it, 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 it's it's pretty all right. It's pretty all right. Um, I, and I've you know I played it, you know, for a while now. Obviously, and I've showed you guys that before. But it's just uh, I, I've grown out of it, I suppose. I think I finally grew out of it. Um, just making slight adjustments to the deck, adding a couple other one ofs that you'll see in a second. It, it fixed it to where you don't have to play that. Then three quick draw synchron, three satellite synchron. The reason for those is because you can search them with tuning and uh, satellite synchron is key to the no-no combo, the two card combo. Uh, I've shown you guys this combo a million times. Um, I'm going to show you guys the um, ultimate combo right now. Uh, the no-no combo right now, I'll show you guys the uh, standard combo for it as I'm talking right now. So your goal is to open up with uh, Cyber Dragon Core and satellite synchron and that can be um core itself that could be emergency that can be tuning that can be um you know you get it any combination of those cards are your search cards for those cards and that's it that's the two card combo you use core to search rev system 
It's in core for Out Mirage. Rev system brings it right back out. Uh, summon Satellite Synchron off of core coming back out off the Rev system. Uh, make Needle Fiber summon uh, Deskbot 01 and just keep going from there. And depending on what you draw off a Librarian, you'll end even better than that because you'll end with a Pleiades as well. So you'll end with Pleiades, Dorindle, the Auroradon, the love the the Bribu, <laughs> the Bribu, uh, Karakiri Synchro, as well as um, Infinity. So it's uh, it's pretty nutty. It's it's a uh, it's a really good combo. Um, it's 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 how I like to play the deck. I mean, I, I like to play. You know, once again, I've said this throughout the video. I like to play some combo liciousness. I like to I like to see how, what I can make decks do. I don't really necessarily uh, play competitively. Uh, not to mention, there's no one to play competitively with in Oklahoma. Anyways, I I, I can't. I can walk. I, you know, I probably will make a video of me walking into shops looking for Yu-Gi-Oh because it's nowhere to be found in Oklahoma. <laughs> so, Monster, I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm holding up the fort here, guys. I'm holding it up here out in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. But, um, and I'm not even in the middle of nowhere. I'm outside of Tulsa. That's what that's what makes it even more sad. It's not like I'm in the, in the country, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, there's a lot of country in Oklahoma, and I ain't in it. <laughs> it's, like, even more sad. I can't find players to save my life. I mean, I can get Kevin and a couple other guys to play with me every now and then to go, to go on trips with me every now and then, but, yeah, it's like pulling teeth to find players around here. And then, um, yeah, Monster Reborn, because Monster Reborn pairs with uh, Satellite Synchron, uh, being able to bring out a monster, then trigger uh, Satellite Synchron's effect. And then for the tuners, play the Karakuri tuners that you want to summon off of the Karakuri Synchro monsters. Despot 01, one for one. Um, one for one gets you your, you know, different targets and stuff um, for Machine Dupe, and it gets you, I mean, it gets you Despot, you get it. There's a lot of level ones in this deck. And then Foolish Burial, this is the worst card in the deck. I don't like playing this, but once again, this will get you like a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard for repair plan. <laughs> <laughs> to get core more consistently. Yeah, that's all this is is a consistency card. And this card is pretty alright going second. Because you can uh you can uh foolish core and then core four core and then machine dupe. Yeah, you can do that. Or you know, banish core for another cyber dragon or whatever, and yeah, like a hurts. Yeah, you get it, and then just machine dupe. Yeah, you, you can you can totally do that. A foolish burial is just a uh, yeah, it's it's a consistency card, and you can always foolish burial desk bot, of course, you know, and trigger its effect or you know what have you. But it's yeah, this could be uh, once again this could be called by the grave. Um, any any uh, uh, this is a deck where you can't really fit hand traps into it. It's just a combo deck, and this deck is what it is. This deck is just my baby, you know. Now the uh, cyber dark deck. Um, that one can be readjusted to have a lower ceiling and have more hand traps in it. Absolutely, that's what I've been trying to explain in this video, you know, on and off. This deck, uh, this is just combo-liciousness and this is just my baby. Uh, make, you know, summon a million times, make uh, the Karakiri monsters draw a shit ton off of a Hyper Librarian. Just do my own combo and do it as often as possible, you know, and uh, try not to catch Nibiru in game twos because most people don't main Nibiru. And, you know, they, they yeah, most, you have to be bad to main Nibiru because everybody's aware of Nibiru, you know what I mean? And therefore, I mean, you'd have to be bad to play combo decks too, knowing Nibiru is around. But I know that most people don't play Nibiru in the main deck and actually cite it, so I can play combo decks. And this is why my brain is mush most of the time. <laughs> Anyways, though, for this extra deck, for this extra deck, though, um, how, 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 just Needle Fiber, okay? Crystron, Needle Fiber, Auroradon, Almirage, genius. This summons your tuner. This uh, spams your tokens so that you can use them for uh, synchro material, you know, so you have stuff to, you know, use your tuners with. Um, Al Mirage just it has one job. It gets <laughs> it gets core into the graveyard, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, that's it. That's that's its job. It's usually I mean, there's times where I've used its effect like once, <laughs> like or twice, but usually it's gone. You know, I've already comboed it off. You know, it's like it's it's usually on the field for like two seconds. Um, Cleave Four Genius is pretty lit. This is a really good card for going second, and this is a good card um, in in the main because of uh, machine duplication. You know, uh, machine dupe under this guy. Get a search for a quick draw synchron for a tuner. Or or get a search for a Galaxy Soldier for, you know, an extender that way as well. Very cool stuff. Nova, Infinity, Durindle. I don't really need to explain these two cards. This is my favorite card in the game, though, basically. I've explained that several different times. Um, because a lot of the reason is because you can slap Infinity on it. Um, but uh, I've explained that a million times. Watch my other deck profiles. Artifact, Durindle. This is what you end on. And if you end really, really broken, like I have already kind of explained, Pleiades. <laughs> like if you like the standard board you end with this 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 and this guy 
but if you're really, if you open really good, if you draw really good off the librarian, rather, it's, it doesn't really matter what you open, it's really what you draw off a librarian. Um, if you draw really good off a librarian, draw just right, you make play these two. And it's like, break my board, bud, good luck. Mar Metal Marcher, Marshall Metal Marcher, so that, say that a hundred times fast, I can't do it. TG Hyper Librarian, Bari, Burido, Baribu. Yeah, just seven, eight, nine, seven. Special summon tuner, make the eight. Special summon tuner, make the nine. And I'll do some uh, test hands with the decks here in just one second um, and kind of show off the combo um, instead of just, you know, showing you guys a computer replays. And then I play uh, both the Chimera decks. I didn't used to main this one, but you have to now. You know what I mean? Like at that time, the, 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 at the time I made the original, like this original deck profile and came up with this idea originally for this deck, this Karakuri, you know, Cyber Dragon deck, you could get, a, you'd get away with not maining this. You can't get away without maining it now. <laughs> and the reason why I mained um, two of the fortress instead of one of this is because the, there wasn't, I mean, people were ending on like Winda and stuff. People weren't ending with, uh, you know, Link Monsters. So yeah, there's two reasons why I wasn't playing this card. One, I was just explaining. At the time I created this idea originally, you didn't really need to. And secondly, um, I liked a second fortress dragon, which I now side, but I liked the second fortress dragon because I'm maining three Jizakiru. You know, and since I was, you know, since I wasn't, no, still maining three Jizakiru, um, the second fortress will come up you know and uh, sometimes it doesn't come up very often but when it does you're just like but you, yeah you have to play mega fleet now you just you have to and like I can't find any extra room <laughs> like for for this like I thought about playing like an instant fusion in this deck to be able to go into millennium eyes you know what I mean and make and add a call by the grave to have some like you know uh, hand trap protection and stuff and then add a panzer dragon in here as a you know it's like a secondary target there's no freaking room dude like what when i end the combo when i end the full combo guys i have these cards left in my deck if i if i get the full combo and make Pleiades as well th these three are what's left in my extra deck and that is it that is if i go first and make like the full board these three cards are the only thing that remain all the more reason to add uh, repair the second repair plan, like I've been saying, to put Nova back, be able to make Nova again, be able to OTK. It makes it, it just makes sense. They're like you know get that get that final damage and get like get this guy to 4200 and beat over anything. It just makes a lot of sense. Yeah, uh, but that's 15 in the extra, 40 in the main, 15 in the side, and the same uh, side deck as uh, you know the other deck. Let's uh, let's do some combos. Let's uh, yeah here. See how I draw with this one first. Let's uh, since I've been talking about this deck and this is the last one I you know been showing. Let's just immediately cut to it. Let's shuffle really good because I had everything clumped up for the deck profile. So shuffle like a hundred times. Plus I don't want to draw the fucking Kira Kira <laughs> tuners. I don't want to draw them. Uh, it sucks when you draw them. It's not they're not terrible. Like so it's not terrible if you draw one. I've explained this in my other deck profiles. It's not terrible to draw one of the Kira Kiris. But do not draw both, you die. Just, yeah, I should have mentioned that in the deck profile part already, but yeah, just don't, don't, don't draw both. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, here's the combo. Um, so, normal stone. I would like a machine dupe as well. And the reason why you want machine dupe is because if they stop your, and they probably will, if they're gonna, if they're, if they're good, they'll ash your, um, um, they'll ask your needle fiber and you want machine dupe as a backup. That's what that's what you want I've explained that in deck profiles before as well. So you send this For Al Mirage. then you use rev system to bring it right back out that triggers satellite synchron then you use these two To make a needle fiber. I've done this combo on camera so many times now <laughs> And I've barely profiled I barely showed off this deck, you know I made long videos about this deck, but technically in the span of things I've barely shown it off. So uh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> I was about to make a roar done. Oh, that's so funny. Muscle memory failing me. And then you act. Then you summon that. Use these two. A roar done. Uh, get your. Where's my tokens? There we go. Get three tokens right there. That will trigger uh, desk bot. And then uh, if you want to like deck thin right now, you, that'll get. Yeah, since you already have the Hurts, what you'd grab is a Naster, as much as I freaking hate that card, that's what you would grab. Um, <laughs> I don't like that card, guys. It could have been so much better. It could have been so much freaking better. Alright, so uh, yeah, that just goes away. Make a Librarian. These will go away. McBree, activate its effects. So chain link one, chain link two. Summon. Shuffle. 
Now, right here is where you just don't want to draw the other uh, Karakuri Turner. And if you don't draw it, you're fine. You just don't draw it. Just don't. Just don't draw it. I have, right there was Jesus powers in like the wrong way. <laughs> like right there was Jesus powers in the wrong way, the worst way possible. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? Here, before I get carried away, <laughs> that threw me off. That threw me off so bad. <laughs> Before I get carried away. Actually, you know you wouldn't because you won't you don't want to mill it. That's right, because that'll mill. You don't want to mill that. <laughs> that one I'm all screwed up. <laughs> Dang. Uh shuffle. Oh. And then draw again. Cut and draw. And uh have we activated repair plant this turn? I don't think we have. No, we haven't. Okay. So um we'll activate both of these. We'll say we repair plant first. Get the galaxy soldier, then activate. The tuning to get quick draw synchron, tuning's effect will mill one. So we'll mill one. Doesn't really matter. As long as it's not the other Galaxy Soldier, doesn't really matter. Um, and even then, it doesn't really matter that much. You just don't get a search off Galaxy Soldier. So now, what you do is you banish this from the graveyard. <laughs> I can't believe I actually drew it. <laughs> that crap don't happen to me, man. Only on camera, only on camera. Uh, draw, and then you use these two. Uh, make the Bribu and then draw again. All right, so now Galaxy Soldier, pitch. I would add, you know what, since we drew a Cyber Dragon and stuff, I would add the uh, core from the graveyard back to hand. Activate Galaxy Soldier's effect. Oh, uh, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, discard that, summon a Quick Draw Synchron. Use those two. Uh, detach, summon Cyber Dragon. No, wait, maybe we did. Yeah, you know what? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We needed another uh, quick draw synchron to get it. No, we need another, the, the other quick draw synchron as well. You need two quick draw synchrons and a galaxy soldier in your finishing draw to end with the uh, Pleiades as well. But yeah, yeah, you do because uh, yeah, you do. I don't have another uh, another uh, five, so you're just in like this. Boom. So what I've been explaining. So there's uh, two ways to end with this. Like one where you'll end with uh, just uh, these, right? And then uh, this guy's still in deck. And then the better, and you'll end with a lot of cards in hand. And then the better board, you'll end with less cards in hand, but with the Pleiades as well. And um, you know, that combo I have, you know, recorded on the computer, showing you guys. So now that we've done combos with that deck, let's bring out the Cyber Dark deck. So yeah, likewise, let's shuffle this up a lot because, you know, this was all clumped up for the deck profile. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, I really, I really like the uh, the Sky Striker text because you you want a spell in your hand to, to, to discard for Chimera, and I was like, wait a minute, uh, Kagiri uh, just adds the spell back to hand, and then you just have a plus and a Machine Link, and I was like, no one no one's thought of this, no one, no one's thought of this. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm either onto something or I'm not, <laughs> but I think that I'm onto something because, like I said, the highest. The best uh, combo I figured out with the deck uh, is, you know, it plays that card. And of course, I've already talked about that and shown it off and stuff. So uh, here's what we drew, though. Um, I would go, uh, yeah, core. Since we already have that in hand, I guess it'd be, uh, I don't know. Do I want, could I get, how is this gonna go? How is this going to go? Because I think that I'm gonna want repair plant. With this hand, I think it's gonna be, yeah, I think it's gonna be repair plant because I drew the Chimera. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the strat and I think we're gonna pitch the Cyber Load Fusion later. I think that's the strat. All right, activate Cyber Dark. This deck's crazy, dude. It actually requires uh, more thought than my, like I don't have it all muscle memoried out anyways like my other deck yet. Uh, Claw, activate Claw, get Horizon, and then activate Horizon, pitch. Pitch and pitch. You'll add cannon and then you'll trigger these two, which will add a cyber dragon and also the chimera will send the other cannon to your graveyard. So you're loading up your graveyard with those cyber darks. Activate cannon, get chimera, activate realm, summon chimera, 
And uh, yeah, like I guess like I think the proper ending, yeah, I think I want to do this. I think I want to repair plant for Galaxy Soldier here with this hand. Pitch off a of Chimera, yeah, pitch to the Cyber Load Fusion off a of Chimera. So you have to do, get the uh, Power Bonds, use these two, Seeger, then activate Power Bonds, get rid of your Cyber Darks, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, go into that, activate that effect, get in, attach to it, send those two, summon your bad boy right there, Cyber Dark and Dragon. It's satisfying getting this out. Like, even though I'm playing by myself right now, just like actually being able to consistently get out a 5,000 attack monster that is this strong, has that strong of an effect. Oh my gosh, this is insane. So, um, yeah, I would attach Hertz because it hurts when, if this does leave, Hertz will get you uh, your uh, core back. Yeah, Galaxy Soldier, discard. We didn't draw the best with that opening hand, but this is how I'd play it. Galaxy Soldier, discard. Then overlay those for Nova, detach, summon, infinity. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that right there. And it's not bad, you know, having a, a negate. And then if you draw better, now if you draw slightly better, you'll have the uh, Vimana on the on the board as well. So you have two negates and you know Cyber and. And if you draw really good, like I've you know been been explaining, then you'll also have um, Eternity Dragon on the board too, which is just completely nutty. And you have to draw like that good though. You have to draw that good and then play it right, you know, and your opponent has to not stop anything <laughs> you know going for going for combo liciousness here going for combo liciousness so yeah that's that's what the deck can do we we brought out uh, uh our bad boy boss monster with our first hand pretty cool stuff but yeah guys that's the deck profile my other camera just died on me so or i'll be showing you more test hands and stuff like that it's all good uh you guys have been waiting long enough for this you know for these uh, deck profiles and stuff um i really like them both i think that um I'm gonna be honest. I think that this new one with the uh, with the Cyber Darks is a little more consistent than what I have going over here with this, uh, you know, uh, uh, Synchron Karakuri Cyber Dragon, uh, you know, craziness. That deck's pretty consistent as well, just because you know you have three tuning and you know that gets you, you know, quick draw, gets you, uh, you know, uh, satellite Synchron and stuff. But uh, this right here, where's it at? Cybernetic Horizon, man, that card. This card's really good. This card is, like, you can't see it because this camera's dead, I keep forgetting. This card is really good. Like, if this didn't lock you to machines, it'd be even better. Nutty. Like, being able to just get Cyber Dragon Core. Like, search cards for your search cards for your search cards. I love it. It reminds me of playing Necroz or something. You know what I mean? And just consistency. Because that's what Yu-Gi-Oh! is all about these days is consistency. It's not about who, you know, it's not about uh, picking, like, you know, the best cards for certain situations and grinding it out. You know what I mean? Like in GOAT format or whatever, or grinding out. It's it's not about that. It's about, like, who opens up the better hand and who can be the most consistent. And um, this really helps that. You know, this this deck really plays into the, to modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, with that in mind because it's just search cards for search cards and it's just it's totally consistent like I open I make the boss monster like every freaking hand like every hand you know uh, now like cyber dark the way I built this you make cyber dark in dragon every hand but the uh, trade-off is you might not make the uh, extra you know rank fives and stuff but you do make this guy and this guy's badass good luck getting rid of this thing Good luck getting rid of this thing. Just, just, just good luck. And you know what? Dick slap that like button and subscribe. And good luck not getting a bruise and also outing these. Man, these boss monsters are badass. They are badass. Damn. Subscribe. Mm. <laughs>